Rule Rich Rising family, welcome. This is Jaslyn with Abiding Artistry. And how are you today? I hope, I trust all is well that you're taking care of yourself. Um, Got some extractions for ya. Got some real cute, dug up some little cute earthworms. Today I'm going to uh, not talk as much. I'm going to talk, but I was tired. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm not going to be rambling. Oh, I do want to read a... It's called the Skin Health Rule Book, where it's a topic within the a book. It's called Unleash, Unleashing Your Best Skin, The Ultimate Guide to Biohacking Skin Health with Medical Aesthetic Treatments. And it's by Jennifer Sun. Real good book. Check it out. Um, I like this quote by Andre Giddy. It's like in their introduction, she pretty much says, loving yourself isn't vanity, it's sanity. So don't let let nobody tell you that self-love, self-care is vanity. All right. But um, I just love the way I be distracted. I be so proud of myself, you know. Child looking at some of them old videos. I don't even know who that person was extracting. But, <laughs> anywho, back to the skin health rule book. Um, it says you have to take regular care of your skin. Keep it clean. Build a routine. And take precautions. It's not that difficult a deal. It's not that difficult a deal. You might already be halfway there. Let's discuss some of the basic tips that you need to incorporate into your life. Consistency with any routine would improve the texture and general health of your skin, thus making you feel more confident and at ease. Oh, there go, that's Megan again. I gotta catch myself. Hydration is the most essential requirement of the body and skin. Maintain hydration by drinking enough fluids, a minimum of eight glasses of water. I'm a big advocate of H3O, which is pretty much fruit water from like your watermelons, melons, uh, coconut water. That's you know, Our bodies really retain that. Um, daily in applying a moisturizer that suits your skin type now this next one you know uh, i've to me the sun is your friend okay now when you're wearing active ingredients definitely apply and reapply sunscreen every two hours you know but i not i don't Again, I only wear SPF when I'm going to be, like, directly in the sun on the beach or something. And or I'm having, like, I got active ingredients on my face, you know, using retinol and things of that nature. But this next one, she says, sunscreen with a broad spectrum and higher SPF, at least 30, is a must, regardless of the weather or if you're staying indoors. Also, reapply it every two hours, no matter what others tell you. The sun isn't your friend. Limit direct interaction with it. Cover up your skin to reduce direct impact. So, yeah. That was goodness. I forgot to talk about this. It was only for educational and entertainment purposes only. Make sure you do your own due diligence, okay? You always, always go and do our own research. We never take... Things for face value just because somebody says something because they're licensed or they have a doctor's degree or whatever the case may be. Anywho, let me read. Let me continue. Okay, so still steer clear 
of skin irritants. Don't use products that contain artificial fragrances or sulfates as they cause inflammation. Do not use facial wipes to clean your makeup as they contain alcohol and other abrasive chemicals. Never squeeze those pimples as they can spread bacteria and leave a mark on the face. It can also disrupt the natural healing process of the skin. Sleep for six to eight hours every day as your body needs rest to rejuvenate itself. Reduce stress by meditating. Meditating, I'm telling y'all that sitting still for at least a minimum of 15 to 30 minutes will get you through this life. Trust me. Sitting and just being a witness to your thoughts, that's a different level of activation. But we'll get into that another time. Okay. Eating well and being involved in relaxing activities such as indulging in hobbies. Limit alcohol and sugar intake as well as quit smoking altogether. Have nuts, vegetables, and fruits rich in antioxidants in your diet. Do not sleep with makeup on. Cleanse your face properly at night to remove all dirt buildup from the entire day. Cleansing is also essential in the morning before applying other skincare products. Most importantly, your skin's needs change with the change in weather conditions. Take good care of it and provide it with appropriate nutrition to maintain the optimal pH of the skin and prevent breakouts. Keeping a regular check on the health of your skin, if there is a sudden appearance of spots or bruises, get to the root cause of it. It can also be due to an allergic reaction. If you have a family history of skin disease, take precautionary measures. If a previous mold changes color and shape, contact a professional. Also, a condition like eczema can reoccur, so if you are prone to it, Bathe with lukewarm or cold water. Keep your skin moisturized and stay away from UV rays and known allerg allergic triggers. Yeah. So that is Miss Jennifer um, Sun's skin health rule book. I agree with some, but you know, I take the meat and throw out the bones. But that squeezing them pimples, that's the one. Don't squeeze, y'all. This is from me being a repeat offender of that. <laughs> Literally, I was like, you know what? I know how to squeeze this up on out of my, my follicle. Just for it to spread and go to another area. Oh, I'd be highly pissed. To the back. Mm -mm -mm. I got some cute little little wigs. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have called it worms, earthworms. Only if y'all knew the amount of microorganisms on our body. That's that. Um, remember what's that other book I was telling y'all about? It's funny. I'm talking about. I'm not gonna talk much. Child, please. Oh, yeah, The Remarkable Life of the Skin, An Intimate Journey Across Our Largest Organ by Monty Lemon. Oh, I love this book. I'm not done yet, but the way this man break down, you know, what's happening just on the surface level of our skin is immaculate. It really is. It's, we, I'm, you know what? I'm going to look into doing like a little... Uh, a magic school bus slash Osmosis Jones visual because it's just like that. It's especially Osmosis Jones with all them uh little creatures and stuff living inside that man when he was sick. That's exactly what we have going on. Literally, we we many many worlds with with uh microscopic. Um, shoot, I don't want to call them microorganisms, but <laughs> with microscopic organisms living on living on us, it's wild. 
But I hope you continue, y'all, to take care of yourself. I'm hoping, ooh, that was cute. I love when I pull extractions out like that. Gets my gears going. But <laughs> I really hope y'all taking care of yourself. I hope you're telling yourself you love you. I hope you're caressing your body. Shouting out, you know, your feet, your hands, and your legs. That's getting you through the day. Getting you, you know, it's getting you going. Getting you from A to Z. And I hope you're making yourself happy. And don't forget to dry brush, you guys, okay? Dry brushing is very good and essential for the body. Skin and the body. <laughs> but please continue to be great. Please continue to, at least every day, learn something new about you. Okay? Until next time. Mwah.